Hello, I'm Deborah Daniel. Thank you for tuning in to Alabama A&M Front Page, where we focus on the news you care about from the Hill. The AAMU National Alumni Association is gearing up for its biennial national conference. This is an opportunity for alumni chapters to come together, and alumni will receive updates on their beloved university, go to workshops, and see what's new on campus. Last year, it was hosted in Charlotte, and the Alumni Association is excited to welcome it back home to Huntsville this year. The majority of the activities will be here on campus, uh, and that's a good thing because some of the people have not been back, the alums have not been back to the university since they graduated. And I had some friends to come into town, and they are amazed at how the university have grown. The conference will kick off June 21st and end on the 24th. The last day for early registration is March 5th. Regular registration ends on May 1st. For more information, visit aamualumni.org. Here's another event for alumni. The best reunion ever is coming soon. May 3rd through the 6th is when the Founders Day and Class Reunion will take place, and it is hosted by Alumni Affairs. Celebrating this year are classes ending in threes and eights. The reunion is not only only a time to reconnect and network with fellow alumni, but it's a chance to give back. This year's goal for fundraising is $461,000. Never too old to have a good time, so we want you to come back and give back to keep Alabama A&M University the premier school that it is. The best reunion ever will take place May 3rd through the 6th, with early registration ending March 16th. Regular registration ends April 23rd. For more information or to register, visit aamu.edu. Alabama A&M University professor Tungish Mohan is teaching students how to put together a production, but when he's not teaching, he's putting one together himself. Professor Mohan's documentary about the 500-year celebration of Martin Luther just recently aired in the United States. The documentary took several years to piece together. Mohan has produced several documentaries, but this one was special to him. At the start of production, Mohan was involved in a car accident that nearly took his life. So I'm really blessed by being a part of it and then to be the guide of it, the leader of it. So, so that's why I feel it's not humanly possible and I feel humbled. If you missed the documentary which aired on Alabama Public Television, you will have a chance to view it this summer. Well, they had stiff competition, but students from Alabama a and School of Business met the challenge at the Tennessee Valley Authority Case Competition. This is a photo of our first place winners. They competed against three different teams from across the Tennessee Valley. This year was the second year of the competition. The idea of this event came from the dean of the new School of Business, Dr. Dell Smith. He says although the competition was tough, he could tell a and did a great job. He also thinks it's a great opportunity for everyone involved. It was interesting to talk to some of the students from the other universities who said to me, I've never actually been in HBCU before. And we think that that's part of the experience as well, too. So not only do our student, students benefit from interacting with other students from other universities, but we believe uh, those other students also benefit from coming in and getting a better understanding about an HBCU and about Alabama A&M University. Alabama A&M will continue to be the host campus of this competition, and students who are looking to join this year should see Rashida Wilson. Are you looking for an event where you can relax, have fun, and support a great cause? The College of Business and Public Affairs has the event for you. It's the annual golf tournament and silent auction. The event is scheduled for Friday, April 6th at the Huntsville Country Club. You don't want to miss this opportunity to win major prizes courtesy of Woody Anderson Ford, Bankston Motorhomes, and many other companies. Registration is now open with team discounts. For more information, please send an email to aamu C-O-B-P-A dot brand ambassador at gmail.com. There's a lot of history on the Hill. That's why the Alabama A&M Front Page and University Archives and Special Collections partnered to bring you Facts of the Hill. WJAB student reporter Kiara Hurst has some Alabama A&M history for you in this week's Did You Know? It took eight years to complete, and did you know the statue facing Meridian Street and the West Campus Residence Hall holds history for more than one A&M figure? We'll have more on this legendary statue when we come back. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. There's student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University. 
where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight You bring me joy 90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. To cap things off for Black History Month, Alabama A&M's Beyond Normal Lecture Series welcomed Judge Greg Mathis. Judge Mathis's welcome to the Hill began with a meet and greet where WJAB's own Erica Fox Washington interviewed him for community news from the Hill. Afterwards, Judge Mathis spoke to a full crowd of students, faculty, alumni, and university friends. Judge Mathis is well known for his courtroom television show titled Judge Mathis. He is also a retired judge for Michigan's 36th District. To view the full interview, with Judge Mathis, visit the WJAB YouTube page. Last week, Alabama A&M front page went on the road with Dr. Andrew Hugini Jr. and the rest of the Alabama A&M family for the presidential bus tour. Touring more than 1,400 miles, the tour made stops in Birmingham, Mobile, Montgomery, Selma, Fairfield, Anniston, Gadsden, and Tuscaloosa. According to Dr. Hugini, it was a very successful tour, and those on the tour were welcomed back with a lively affair. We have had the opportunity to recognize individuals that have achieved. They've earned scholarships to attend this great university. We look forward to welcoming all the scholarship recipients to Alabama A&M in fall 2018. Coming up on Alabama A&M Front Page, Royalty Week on the Hill, find out how Miss Alabama A&M informs students about self-worth and self-esteem. We'll be right back. Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. 90.9 WJAB FM Huntsville 100,000 watts 24 hours a day Smooth jazz and cool vocals and the home of mellow madness till midnight You bring me joy 90.9 WJAB from the campus of Alabama A&M University Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. It's the season of tryouts on the Hill. The Alabama A&M Bulldog cheerleader and mascot auditions are coming up. And if you love to entertain crowds, mascot tryouts are set for April 21st. You will be judged on your liveliness and your routine. But if you have that old Bulldog spirit, cheer tryouts are set for April 20th and the 21st. You will be judged on spirit, tumbling, and stunting skills. If you know someone or if you're interested and you'd like more information, just visit their website at www www.aamucheer.webs.com.
What better way to kick off Royalty Week than with Miss Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University? During Royalty Week, Miss Alabama A&M University, Aaliyah Riley hosted the Relationship and Self-Worth Forum at the Wellness Center to help empower and address issues college students face. So the Relationship and Self-Worth Forum was basically about the title, the relationships, and then individuals and how we take care of ourselves when it comes to relationships and having a relationship with ourselves. Also during Royalty Week was the informational session for the next Miss AAMU. We will keep you updated on the upcoming pageant as well as the next Miss Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. In our Did You Know segment before the break, we asked, did you know the statue facing Meridian Street and the West Campus Residence Hall holds history for more than one Alabama A&M figure? Sitting just behind Hopkins Gate and facing the Ernest L. Knight Complex is a statue of Alabama A&M founder Dr. William Hooper Council. Get this, Dr. Ernest L. Knight was the actual model for that statue. Thanks for watching the Alabama A&M Front Page on WJAB-TV. Front Page highlights everything students, faculty, and staff are involved in on and off campus. They are stories you'll want to hear. And if you have a new story you would like to submit for consideration, please email Latoya Clemens at WJABTV underscore production one at AAMU.edu. I'm Deborah Daniel. Thanks for watching Alabama A&M Front Page.